what's going on back again with another video so right now I am doing my fourth oil change on my Chevy Silverado no problem so far just uh, like the other day I did mention something that my battery died because that was my interior light I don't know the button I guess it got stuck or I don't know what went wrong with it and it uh it caused my battery to die while the music was playing and the choke was off so it cost it but it looks like I refixed it so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this oil change right now I am letting it cool off right now but uh, I'm gonna give it like an hour or two to cool off and once everything's cooled off uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil and go from there you already seen this in the first video not really gonna bug you out too much but I'll catch you out here in a little while so right now I do got the oil right there I did let it cool off so it's cooled off right now so uh, what we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna start taking I'm gonna put that drain the oil take the oil, the oil filter we're gonna put the new one and then we're gonna put the new oil then we'll go ahead and start it make sure it has no leaks we'll go from there like I said this is my fourth time doing an oil change I'll let you know how many miles I have here in a little bit but for now I'm gonna get to it not really too much if you want to see how to change the oil on this truck just go back to my first video I'll be in the link probably below maybe and we'll go from there okay now we are gonna be putting the oil filter so this is the one that I went with uh, last time this is mostly what I always get but the last time I did go with mobile one that's the one I have down there so right now I'm just waiting for it to leak, completely leak out well right now it's, I just gotta clean it pull this one back on go from there and uh, put the new oil and put the bolt and we'll be good to go so for now let me go ahead and clean it put the bolt put the filter and we'll go from there okay so I did just put some oil around the sill and a little bit in it so now we're gonna go ahead and throw it on I do got the bolt on already so uh, let me go ahead and put this and we'll go from there okay so we did just do the oil change we got the oil filter back on we got the bolt back on now we're gonna put some new oil in it and we'll go from there Okay, there are no leaks. That was when I first started to take off the the screw, and uh, no leaks, like I said. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, and we'll go from there. But every time you put your cord, you always want to make sure it's not leaking before you put the whole oil, and make sure it's leaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for now. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on, and we'll go from there. Okay, right now we are gonna turn it on so first what you want to do is don't turn it on yet then right there we're gonna basically how you're gonna reset the oil light is you're gonna do it four times so you're gonna one two three four oil life reset as you can see that is how you do it you, you put the gas pedal all the way to a four four times and you got oil life reset that is how many oil, my mileage right now yeah it's a lot but runs pretty strong no lights no nothing those are on because of the 
because the truck is off that's always how it's been but if i turn it on everything goes away i do got my brake on right now so that's why that one's on so let me go ahead and take that one off so you can see as you can see that came on again so we are good from that and now all you gotta do is make sure nothing is leaking as you can see there is nothing leaking so that's a good job now uh, that's it for the truck that is until we do the next oil change here in two months probably because I do put a lot of miles on the truck so next video will be on the cord and uh, it is cranking it's just not getting any fuel to injectors so I'll update you on that see what happens but for now that's all I got like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one